Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Pink Kitty here. Today we're going to be doing some magazine harvesting for my glue books, but I got some special magazines this time. These are vintage Women's Day magazines from 1973. I picked these up at a flea market for only a few bucks and these are just some of the coolest magazines that I have ever browsed through. I just love some of these really cool vintage pictures and they've got so many nice, vibrant pictures. I've already gone through maybe just one magazine and I've got so many things out of just one. I mean, look at some of these awesome vintage pictures. Just absolutely, absolutely cool. So yeah. Oh yeah, lots of lots of cool stuff. Even even like the hairstyles, and not only is it like really cool looking through hunting for pictures, but just reading some of the stuff out of these is really interesting too. And to what life was like in 1973. So. Let's just take a peruse through a few pages and see what we can find. Already I see a lot of really cool little pieces there I might fussy cut. Even the coupons too. I'll even cut out the old coupons because they're just really s stupid cool as well. Oops. Let's see on the inside. See like that's a cool one. I might take that. Yeah, I think I'll start by harvesting this side. I'll take the coupon. I've been saving the coupons. I think the coupon's a, a little expired though, don't you think? <laughs> trim it down to make it look nicer. I always trim my edges of a lot of my things. If I just got un unnecessary edges, I'll trim it down. But yeah, I'm gonna cut out this cool. I'm gonna probably fussy cut some of these little plates of food because those are so cute. Yeah, you guys, it snowed today here in Michigan. It snowed so hard when I was coming home from work. There was still snow in certain corners. And I'm like, why? It's almost April. Why are you doing this to us? But yeah, and, and it sounds like it's not going to be done yet. It sounds like we're going to get more snow this weekend. So it's like, oh, it's a good thing that I got plans that are indoors. But no, see, what it's actually going to do first is it's going to warm up, get up to the 60s. Yeah, yeah, it's going to get up to the 60s, and then by the weekend, it is going to plummet and give us snow. You gotta love that Michigan weather. Oh, man. But no, I really love living here. I, I like this weird, crazy weather. It's something... It's, it's not for everybody, I will say that. A lot of people don't enjoy it, but I've lived here all my life, and so I've grown quite accustomed to it, and it's something that I, you know, I just expect. I have, you know, traveled over the country and been to other, other states, but none of them just really felt like, you know, it felt like home. It's like I just never really enjoyed the kind of weather in other states. Because it's like, you don't have your weird, crazy unpredictableness of Michigan. And it is true. It's very unpredictable. Like, right now, at this very moment, it is blue skies and incredibly sunny out. From this morning, when it was snowing so hard, to right now, it's blue skies and sunshine. Yeah, that's, that's how it rolls up here. That is how it rolls up here. But to be honest, I wouldn't trade it for anything because all this crazy weather, I've got so many fond memories of it as a kid. So it's like, I'd, I don't want to go to a place where the weather is the exact same year round. I mean, it just, it just seems kind of boring, don't you think? If you have the exact same stuff all the time, nothing changes, it, it gets a little boring. And... And me, to be honest, I, I get bored easily. <laughs> that's, that's probably why I have so many craft projects going. I mean, 
right now this this collaging these glue books this is only just just a pinch just the teeniest little pinch of what I'm actually working on so yeah I've been meaning to do a a, a craft room tour for my uh, for my TikTok channel but I've been uh, I've been putting it off because it's like uh that's very daunting because my craft room is a mess and not only that but it spills out into the rest of my house so I was like I might as well just call my whole house a crafting house it's like I don't have a craft room I have a craft house and for those of you who are crafters you can relate it it spills and it goes everywhere it's like I, I can't help it because my craft room is not big enough and so, and so it, it, it it's, like, it's not my fault okay it's not my fault it's the world's fault for making so many cool crafts out there for people to do okay it is the world's fault for making so many awesome things to try and play with so there there we can us crafters we can blame the world for all of the stuff that we have in our in our houses okay yep so I say we should all vote on that make it unanimous we can no longer blame ourselves or anybody for our craft hoarding we just have to blame the world for that yes there we go I said it see this is when they also still had a advertisement for cigarettes and magazines too oh well, that's interesting do i want that or should i just go for the puppy i think i might just go for the puppy one it's on the back side oh here's some cute little yeah i think i'll i think i'll just take those and then i'll take the cute little puppy oh and the puppy's so cute well i'm not sure do i want should i fussy cut the pup i think maybe i should fussy cut it out so i don't have to have that meat part in there although i don't know maybe maybe i'll just cut out this and I'll, I'll decide that later if i want to fussy cut the puppy i can decide on that later might as well just hold on to all of it and i can make my decision later all right let's get these four little pieces oh i've got so much to do you guys this weekend, I plan on spring cleaning my house. And that's a very big undertaking because it means deep cleaning everything. Right on down to scrubbing the shower. I'm like, I hate cleaning the bathrooms. It is my least favorite thing. So, in a way, I am looking forward to it because I'm mentally preparing for it. When I, when I clean my house, I literally have to mentally prepare a, like a week or two in advance. Otherwise, I can't just start up and, you know, just go at it. It's like I can't, can't do that. I have to mentally prepare for it. And so I have been mentally preparing to clean my house this weekend. I'm going to be doing a lot, which means moving f furniture everywhere. I got to take everything out vacuum every nook and cranny if there is a cobweb stuck to it i am vacuuming it and then i have to mop the floors and then i gotta move everything back and then that's just and then i gotta clean out i'm gonna clean out my car i gotta clean and vacuum the car and i got a few other things i think i might do depending on how i feel i don't know this is a really cute little insert look at all the cute little strawberries I'm just not sure which one I want to keep. I really love this cute little strawberry couple. Should I do that one? Although, that one right there is really super cute. Because like, if I take that one, I would... I don't know. Would it... Let's see. If I hold it up to the light, can I tell? Oh, let's see. If I want to if I want to take this one, I'd be cutting into them. Oh, man. They're so cute. Yeah, I can try and... If I cut really close...
All right, let's see. Oh, darn it. Cut off his head. Oh, there's the top part. I don't know if I really wanted to keep this one. <laughs> okay, guys. In all honesty, doesn't it look like the polar bear is, is humping the igloo? Did, did, am I, am I? Okay, I need to get my mind, get, get your mind out of the gutter, girl. Because <laughs> once you see it, you can't unsee it. And that's the first thing I saw. It's like a polar bear humping an igloo. Oh, dear. I'm in trouble, guys. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Oh, boy. I don't know if I want that one. That one looks kind of creepy. Oh, that's a cute little one. Let's put this little cute girl up in the corner here. I know I'm totally skipping over all of these like strawberry recipes, but I'm like, I don't need any more recipes. I, I can't even make the stuff that I've already got. So it's like we're gonna we're gonna skip the recipes. I'm just I don't have the time or the motivation to do any baking or cooking. I'll do box mixes. It's like I got time to do a box mix. But I don't have the time to actually follow a recipe and make something. I do love baking. I love making sweets and treats and things. But lately, because of my job, I just haven't had time to do that. I don't think I need those little ladies. Okay, now. Yep, I need it. I, I know I cut off the top, but I, I need it. What I'm gonna do is actually cut away those so it doesn't look so wonky. Okay, let's see. Let's trim off some sides here, make it look neat and pretty. There. Alright. Oops. Alright, here's another one. Oh, that's already one. Alright, done with that. Let's throw that away. Whew, wow. All right, guys, I think I might call it. I know this is a short video and there are just lots of things to look through yet. Oh man, see, look at that. Wouldn't that make an awesome background picture? This is a really big magazine though, so I've, I would have to trim a lot of that down to get it to fit in my composition book, which is unfortunate. It's like, I don't want to trim it down. I like, I want all that there. So I'm like, oh man. Yeah, that actually made a really cool whole background piece. I love that. I mean, those are so big. Bright red strawberries. I mean, for being a an older vintage magazine, a lot of these images are really, really vibrant. They have beautiful colors to it. Okay, looks like some patio pictures. Oh, wow. Look at that. I think that's what a, that's what a patio would look like. In 1973. Oh, sorry, sorry. A terrace. This is what a terrace would look like in 1973. <laughs> Should I cut that one out? It's actually kind of pretty. That might actually look good on maybe my yellow page. Ooh, maybe. I want to go for it. Because sometimes it's quite difficult finding full-on background pieces. Like big images to cover up a whole, whole page. There's a lot of yellow on this one, so this one might actually go good on one of my yellow pages in my rainbow book. But yeah, look, I still got a whole ton to cut through yet, and I still have two magazines. Oh no, correction, three magazines I haven't gone through yet. So yeah, lots of stuff to cut through, and I just went through only a few pages, and I cut out so many things. Ridiculous. So many awesome pictures this is like the best flea market purchase i ever made really those are cool little mints i remember having those mints all the time as a little kid those were the mints that my mom and my would let us little children eat because they were soft and we could easily chew them 
But yeah, those mints bring back memories. Might have to see about cutting that out. All right, well, thanks for joining me today, guys. No, this is just quick and simple, but it's fun to just chat with you guys and go through some things. I mean, I got a lot of nice, a lot of nice images just from a few pages. All from a vintage magazine. Love these vintage pictures. All right, well, stay tuned, guys, and hopefully you'll get to see me put these in my uh, glue book. Have a good night.